Good morning. I just woke up. Um, I decided to make a pretzel. Do I have any experience? No. Am I good at baking? No. Cause one time I messed up making um the packaged brownies. So my standard is very low, but I really wanted to make this pretzel because when I was in Philadelphia, we went to a place called Miller's, Ta uh, Miller's Twist and they had this pretzel, soft pretzel with oat bay seasoning on it and it was so good. Like, it was so good that my husband and I, we went back the next day on Sunday to go get it, but unfortunately they were closed that day. So I've been craving it ever since and I am going to try it. I don't know if I will succeed and I cannot make any promises. Since I don't trust myself multitasking, I prepared all the ingredients so that I know I have everything I need right there. I forgot which one is salt and which one is sugar. Let's figure out which one's which. <laughs> Do you think my yeast is dead? How long do I wait? I think I said like five minutes and I think five minutes passed. And it looks like this. It's not frothy at all. Oh, I see some activity. Okay. Yeah, I think I see some activity. Okay. Look. Let me show you. Wouldn't just say if my camera can focus ever wouldn't you say that is like a frosty <gasps> oh my gosh i was just too impatient i thought i already failed at the east part and i think that was the only east that we had so i'm glad that it's not dead Ooh, beautiful frosty I don't have a hook dough mixer that's super fancy. So I'm gonna try to do it with a, a spatula and my guns, the, my weak arms that can barely open doors.
dough's forming. From the YouTube videos I watched, it seemed like the dough shouldn't be splitting up and it has to be one. So I'm going to try to knead it until that consistency is reached. Like I've watched a lot of baking shows. My favorite is the, uh, the Great British baking show. Uh, I literally marathoned it, but I don't think anything stuck with me. I don't, I don't remember anything. Like, is that normal? When you watch a baking show, do you like actually learn something about baking, like, <laughs> and then you apply it? <laughs> My dough is starting to look like a dough. How much longer do I have to be? I'm trying to pass the window test, but my dough just breaks off. Does this mean I needed it too much or is it too little? I don't know. Someone help me. Let's, let's keep going though. I've been kneading the dough for I think more than 15 minutes now and I don't think it's getting any better. So I'm just gonna let it rest. I hope I'm not making a big mistake. So there's no one home. I feel like an unsupervised bebe. <laughs> I feel like my mom or like my hubby should be here to help me if I mess up. Or like tell me, Amy, you're not supposed to do that because I'm gonna like burn the house down with fire.
my pretzels are looking a little bit more like croissants. <laughs> but hey, as long as it tastes good, I don't care what they look like. I'll show you the one that especially looks like a croissant. Croissant. Not a pretzel. <laughs> Ready to bake. Oh my gosh, the pretzels are out of the oven and they look amazing. I hope they're done, but I'm going to give them a quick rubbity dub of butter. I think more butter will help. It's very good, it's very chewy and soft. So I'm just gonna give these guys a little bit more butter. And then I want to might put them back in the oven with the butter coating. So maybe this will help them get crispier. Oh, but this one. This one looks perfect with the rib color. It's amazing. I'm so excited and I'm so proud of myself. Yay! Mmm! Very good. This is so good. I did it! <laughs> I made a pretzel at home. I am so proud of myself. I I really had low expectations. And I can't believe that I actually made a pretzel. And it tastes good. So let's try it with the Old Bay seasoning to recreate it. Here is the Old Bay seasoning that I will try eating it with to recreate the one that I had in Philadelphia. Mm. It's so good. <laughs>